Well, this is a dinosaur that really belongs to my son who had it when he was just a child in the mid-50s. It's been living in our basement all these years, and we didn't take particularly good care of it, although it was in a safe spot, so it, it stood up pretty well. My father was in a wholesale toy business, and we used to go okay. to New York every year to the toy fair. And so Donald asked him to bring him back a, uh, a dinosaur, and this is it. And when I was a kid in the 50s, I loved dinosaurs too. Uh, I actually had one of these things, but mine was a lot smaller. This is a pretty large model of this thing. Uh, where was your toy store in New Orleans? Right off of Canal Street, the main street in New Orleans, on, on Charter Street. It was wholesale, of course. Okay. But, uh, we, sold, well, we sold a lot of stuffed animals, too, but this is a stife, and it's uh, higher quality than the kind of thing that we oh, normally yeah, carry. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, definitely stife, nice condition, nice face. And stife made quite a few of these things. There's different models. Brontosaurus, and there's the Stegosaurus, and there's, the one I had was Tyrannosaurus Rex. My Tyrannosaurus Rex was only about that big. And they also made the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which stood, I think, about eight feet high. They made a pterodactyl. Have you ever had this appraised? Never have, no. Oh, in today's market, if this guy was in real, real mint, mint shape, he's not mint, he's in good shape, he would probably be around the Oh, two to twenty-five hundred dollar range. Exactly. Now this is played with. Tags are gone, but he's still in great shape. Yeah. He's probably looking at a thousand, maybe up to two thousand. 